COVID-19 infections and two fatalities over the last 24 hours. In a national television working on Monday, we will take the city knowledge that the Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, let's just talk about uh, a little something that a lot of you have been talking about. Some of you have been commenting on this about the fact that the uh, antenna jack at the top of the TR, the PL, sorry, 368 from Texan, as well as uh, on top of my uh, Conicon GP5 which is a Texan PL365 receiver, uh, are not made for shortwave and I shouldn't do that. Well, I can tell you, I will actually be very fair here in how it performs on that with an antenna. The uh, antenna jack is indeed made primarily for um, medium wave. And of course, uh, the uh, main thing that is happening is that they give you this little rotatable medium wave antenna that you can use on top which is a uh, ferrite but when you plug in an external antenna in that jack you actually see that the signal is indeed increasing and of course um, when you do something that is not supposed to be done or when you do something out of the ordinary there's always some people out there that's gonna like, well, you shouldn't do that. This isn't made for that, and blah blah blah. Here's a straight dope. I've been using my Conicom GP5 SSB and Dixon PL 368 with that on shortwave. It works. Now, here's the thing. Yes, it's not directly connected to the circuit, but it works because the circuits are so close that the signal from shortwave coming in probably makes some coupling with the circuit inside and indeed still increases the signal level. So if you do that, it will definitely work. And it works to a level where it's actually almost as good as if it was designed to do it. I've been listening to the signal levels between receivers that are capable of doing it and receivers that like this are not meant to do it it works fine so if you want to use your shortwave outdoor antenna on a texan pl365 368 conicom gp5 do it it works it works fine the only thing that happens and i have noticed because i was scared for a while that the texan pl368 had some fm breakthrough i noticed that using that jack indeed adds an FM breakthrough of stations sometimes on some frequency ranges. But remove that and plug it with an alligator clip to the telescopic, the FM breakthrough goes away. So there is some kind of um, overloading that is capable of working through the jack that is not on the telescopic. So there is a difference in that sense, and that's what I've been observing here that on some frequency ranges out there antenna in the jack do give me FM breakthrough that prevents me from listening to some shortwave signals. But remove that from there, plug the uh, antenna with an alligator clip to the telescopic, suddenly FM breakthrough is away and the signals are there. So it uh, shows you that there are some effects of doing this, but in general it works fine. Uh, but yes, I totally know that that jack is not meant for shortwave in general. It just works, and you know what? If you have an outdoor antenna, just do it. It works fine, and don't listen to whoever is going to say, "Well, you shouldn't do that." I'm tired of that kind of you know crap on on people thinking they're better than others. Uh, definitely, this works, and you know what? It's great. So uh, Texan PL three sixty eight, Texan PL three sixty five, Conicom GP five. You can plug in the uh, the outboard antenna into that antenna jack, even though it's made meant for medium wave. The only drawback is if you have FM strong FM stations where you live. Yes, that might be a problem. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.